Hey guys, so I'll come to you today real quick with the e.l.f. review. This is just a couple of things that I did an e.l.f. haul about a month ago and I said I'll come back to you guys with a review on these products. And I'm just going to go straight into the video. This is this video should not be long at all, so bear with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the e.l.f. BB cream. And it looks like this. It's just a tube. It's, it, it's more like, like a toothpaste tube and it has a pump at the end. And this is in the color dark. I don't know the exact size of this um, um, BB cream. Um, if you check out my whole video, I, um, I know I say the size in that video just because the size was on the box. I threw the box out. I wasn't keeping the box. Sorry about that. But if I, I could also leave in the description box of the size of this tube. So, um, this is the e.l.f. BB cream. It got SPF, um, SPF 20 in it. And that's an A+, plus, um, because some BB creams or some foundations don't be, don't have SPF. And SPF is really good for your skin, especially when you're out in the sun. When I apply this, it comes off very dewy. And I don't like that. Um, I have dry to sensitive skin. And... And for it to come off very dewy on my skin tone, on my skin type, just imagine if it comes off on an oily person. So if you have oily skin, I don't recommend this product at all just because it's going to come off really oily on your skin. I did set mine with a powder, I set it with the powder, and it still gave me a little shine. But it did, um, once it settled in more, it did come off as a matte finish. But... I do find myself, um, while I be wearing it longer um, throughout the day, I do find myself having to plait my face because I, it comes off very oily. And I, again, I don't have oily skin at all. I have dry to sensitive skin and it comes off very oily. So I don't recommend if you have oily skin to um, get this product. Um, this this BB cream works good for me in the um, um, during the whole cold days and stuff like that. I don't think I will be using this in the summertime just because in the summertime I do um, get oily in my T-zone and this product will not work good. Um, this product won't work good for me in the summertime, but it did work for me great in the during my winter months. Um, it was six dollars, so that's a A plus. The Elf Beauty Cream, it has a scent. It has like a perfume scent. I don't like that so much just because it smells like I'm putting perfume on my face more than a makeup product. And I really don't like that just because I do have sensitive skin. So I do get scary sometimes that I'm going to break out. So once I come in the house, I just make sure I just take this off because I just, I don't know. I just, it, the smell kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, so that's just like the downfall of it. It does have a very perfume smell. Like, I, I really don't like the smell at all. Like, I don't like. I only wear BB creams and tinted moisturizer. So I will be showing a lot of videos on BB creams. It will be low end and high end. Um, it will be low end and high end products. So just stay tuned for that, especially because the summertime is coming up and I. So need to get some more BB cream, especially some high end ones, just because summertime you gotta be summer ready. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't recommend this BB cream for people with oily skin. If you have dry skin like me, I do recommend this only for the colder months. I don't recommend it for the summertime, just because you're gonna be having to do a lot of blacking and your T zone. If you get oily and T zone like me, um, just. A regular because when I was using this in the colder months, I still found myself had to blush, um, had to bash my face a little bit, pat it dry, just um, throughout the day, just so it can get, so I can still um, maintain that matte finish face. Yeah. And it was only six dollars, so. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the complete, the Out Complete Coverage Concealer, and it looks like this. So I use this. So this is in the color dark. And this was um, $6 or $3. It was either $3 or $6. This was one of the two. I'm going to say it was $6 just because I'm really not sure. Or $3. $6. $3. $6. $3. I don't know. I'm going to say it was... I'm going to leave the price of all the items in the description box. That's what I'm going to do. So, I use this... Um, this color right here for my under eye, and I use this color right next to it for um, our 
for a contour color and these two colors I use a lot just um for my under eye and the contour I really don't use these two colors that much just because it comes with very um very orange reddish and my um it just don't really match me that much so I always go to these two just for under eye and I use this color for um a contour I do like the, I do like these um this concealer palette a lot just because there's most it's different types of colors on here so just um when when the weather do change into the hotter months and when I do get darker I can pick and choose mix and match all diff all these colors to find my perfect shade that I want to use at that time so so these concealers do um tend to crease a lot. And that's a downfall about it. Just it just creased so much, and it's just like, like no, what are you doing? Like, why are you creasing? Everything else, I do like it. They are easy to blend. It's easy to um to apply, and that's a good thing about it. And you do get different types of colors in the palette. So yeah, I do recommend you getting this um this concealer. You're just gonna hate that it creased. Sorry. I'm going to tell Elf to work on it. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to send him an email. The thing I'm going to talk about is the Elf blushes. And this color right here is the is Gotta Glow. And this color right here is Blush and Rose. And this color right here is Candy and Coral. And these colors look really pretty. This color right here um, is a dupe for the Arbor Shows, the Nas Arbor Shows. And this color comes off so pretty. Like I said, in, in my haul, yes, it looks it looks it looks white. It comes off very white, but once it blends, it's it's very gold color. It's really pretty. I love this. I love this a lot, and I use this a lot for a highlight. Not so much as a blush. I use this 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 color right here. Looks so pretty on dark darker skin, brown skin, um, light skin, all skin tones. This color is a big plus, and it's a um it's a dupe for the Nas Elf um, blushes. Um, I use this a I use this Elf blush a lot as a blush, and I use this too. I use, actually use the Candy Coral today as a blush, but it really don't come up so much as Coral on my skin. Um, it does um have a lot of gold shimmer to it, and that's the one thing about Elf um blushes. It does come it does come a lot of gold and shimmer in in it. So the color payoff sometimes don't come off as it shows in the pan. So, but the blush and rose come off as a nice rose color. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so. The um the blush and rose comes off nice as a rose color. The the candy and coral it comes off, but it comes more it comes off, but it comes more off on my skin type as gold. So I really don't use this that much. I sometimes I just use it um lightly just as a highlight or if I'm doing like a natural look and I just wanted to the um the peach coral color could just to pop a little bit. That's why I use it. I like the elf brushes. Um, just because they three dollars and the pigmentation is really powerful and the color payoff is really pretty. So yeah, Elf Eyebrow Kit, and I use the Elf Eyebrow Kit for my eyebrows now, and I love the Elf Eyebrow Kit. I tell you no lie, this is like my instead of my um, Mac Stud pencil from Mac, I just love the Elf Eyebrow Kit. It's only three dollars. Three dollars and this Elf Eyebrow Kit is wonders. I used, I started using Elf Eyebrow Kit when I first started doing my eyebrows. This was like my go-to eyebrow kit, and then I started using the Mac. Um, I recently purchased the Anastasia um, Beverly um, um, eyebrow pod, but I have yet to use that yet, so I can't talk much about it. But I just want to see what the hype is about because the Elf is popping. Like the Elf is popping. Um, I don't think I will ever let the elf go. This will always be um, something I will always have in my um, in my makeup kit, just because I love this. It comes off very nice. It don't come off too harsh. And this is in the color medium. I usually get dark, but I decided to get medium just um, just to see how how it looks. As you can see, I'm almost at pen. Don't worry, I do have a backup, so it doesn't even matter. 
but I do love this. I only use the gel part. I don't use the um the powder. The only time I use the powder, I will use it as a base for an eyeshadow. That's the only time I'll use the powder. But as far as for the eyebrows go, I just use the gel, and I just love this. It's three dollars. I think everybody should go out and try it, just because it's only three dollars and it's wonderful to try. Okay, so that's all I have for the view. I hope I explained it a lot. I hope I didn't leave nothing out. If you have any questions, you can leave the co your questions in the comments below. And I'll make sure I answer everybody's questions. Um, if you're wondering what I have on my lips, this is the MAC Fresh Brew. And it's the Lustra. And it's just a, it's just a nice new color. And I have the NYX. I have the NYX Extreme Lip Cream in the color... I don't even know what color this is. XL10. Oh, this is the XL C10, and it's the color natural. And I just put this on the top just for like a gloss. And that's all I have on my lips. And if you would like to see this makeup look, just make sure you thumbs up this video. And I'll surely make sure I do that. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you later. Bye.